What up? My name is Brad. Welcome back to Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to do a very, very important thing. So, you're going to be able to get three guaranteed rare gacha tickets. Every time you do this, you can do it like, I don't know, twice every five minutes if you're really fast at it. Uh, 200,000 zenny. On top of you get a times three EXP capsule and you get a crazy amount of experience as it is. So, it's going to be very beneficial to you. If you enjoy this style of content or you like Dragon Ball Legends, anything really Dragon Ball, Make sure you go down below, subscribe to the channel, it's really appreciated. Like the video if you like the video, leave me a comment on iPhone Android, chance to win a gift card. And I do have to give props where props are due. Uh, I learned this technique from Living Ichigo. If you somehow have found my channel before him, I'll leave him linked down in the description below. But he did make a video on this, and I was like, you know what, the more people that know about this, the better. So let's get in and let's take a look at it. Okay, there's a couple things I gotta explain here. One, some of these units are not fully needed, some of them are. So I would say Goku, he's the he's the main attacker, the one that's gonna finish the job for you, hopefully, that's the plan. Uh, you wanna have a crazy powerful equipment on something like him. It doesn't have to be him, it could be Evil Saiyan. It could be really anybody. They don't have to participate in co-op attacks, nothing like that. They're gonna be the single attacker that you're gonna want to go. You're gonna have everybody on the field. Uh, Vegeta on the far left, he is 100% essential because of his ability. If you wanna do it the way I'm gonna show you how to do it, there's two separate ways. One, you could not get, you could not win the power level battle. It's not a big deal. You just go second. But ideally, you want to win that power level battle. Go first, body him. You're all good to go. Uh, Trunks could be either Trunks, it could be Suit Frieza, or it could be Toa. Whichever one enables you to link a super attack. So if you link with somebody, you'll see in the actual battle they get a super attack. There's three separate cards. So Suit Frieza, Janitor Trunks, or Toa. Uh, and then you don't have to have Megeta or Krillin, but you do have to have two units that are going to lower your CI. At least I prefer that. You don't have to have that if you're really good at matching CI. You don't have to. I prefer to have two that match it or that make it lower. Uh, you could do three, but Cooler comes in handy. He's definitely not needed. Um, again, he's very... He's just kind of there because for round one only, minus 50% of enemy team's power level. Hopefully enable you to go first. Um, you can see that all their equipment is going to be set to this Super V ability. So as you go along, I would highly recommend this be one of the first things you buy if you want to do this method. They're only 35,000. That sounds like a lot when you just start the game, I understand that. But like I said, if you can even beat this once, you're gonna get 200K. That's enough to buy you most of these that you need, at least for most of your team. So your three guys in the end are gonna have that. Uh, Cooler, whoever you decide to use, you could also put Captain Ginyu. Uh, he also lowers CI speed, just like Megeta and just like Krillin. So all three of those guys is not a bad combo right there at the end. If you're fine going second in the power level, or the power level battle, whatever, going second in the overall battle, that's fine. Um, I would say Gein, Gine is pretty much essential. She's good to have in general. I would recommend she's one of the first units you get because she doubles your attack. So that's what's phenomenal about her. She makes it times two, if I can do it, allied at times two damage. So it makes it really, really easy to one-shot stuff as long as you can go first. Uh, the reason Vegeta's here, by the way, just in case you don't know, when an attacker during the prep phase increase own team's power level by 1,500 for each attacker on own team. So you get 1,500 per person on top of the Super V abilities that you have, everything like that. Uh, put something crazy powerful on Goku. It doesn't fully matter what it is. I would recommend anything that's 2,750. If you can get the 3,750, great. It doesn't matter about HP. It doesn't matter about guard. You're literally trying to get out there and do one attack. And boom, that's it. Uh, again, Trunks is gonna, he's gonna be there for supering and everything too. I'll show you exactly how it works. Uh, I'm gonna show you where it's at first too, instead. That's easy. I was just gonna jump right into it, but I don't wanna do that yet. So go back, go here. So you're inside the stadium. You do have to beat the tournaments first. Uh, that sounds like a pain in the butt. It took me maybe an hour and a half. I mean, honestly, D rank tournament, C rank, B, A, S. You went secret battle. And that's what we're going for here. So we're gonna jump right into this. Uh, I'm gonna skip past, actually I don't think I'll skip past anything. I'll skip past like this cutscene. Okay, and I don't think I covered it. So Inner Eye is another equipment you're gonna to wanna to buy a bunch of. They're pretty cheap. They cost like next to nothing. Decrease own CI speed, it's permanent. Uh, you could smack that on Goku and Vegeta because they're gonna partner up for an attack. So you could definitely do that. Not 100% essential, but you could. Anyways, let's get into this battle real quick though. Okay, so you guys will see all the powers we have going, everything. So he does change teams, by the way, just in case you're wondering. It will not be the same team every time, but you can see all of our Super V abilities, three times damage. 
So that's Goku's ability. That's what makes him really good. If you can't do that with Goku, then get the final offense equipment. Final offense will give you three times damage on your super attack, but you can only use one super attack. So it's essentially the same thing. But you can only use one super attack, so keep that in mind. Once you get this down and you really understand how the game works, all this will make sense to you. I know some of you guys are very confused, I understand that. It takes a minute for sure to get it down. But once you do, I mean, this is a guaranteed three rare gacha tickets. So it's like, if you can get this really quick, it takes you maybe five minutes per. Once you get fast, like if I'm not doing this on camera, I can do it like two and five minutes. You know what I mean? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna move everybody forward. I like to move them all together because they all dance. Um, move back trunks. So you're gonna pull them back. Link him with Goku, move Vegeta over here. Gine has to be linked with Goku to give you that double times damage. Keep that in mind. Gine is a very pivotal part. I would say she's one of the units you should be going for first. Absolutely. So we literally just have to match one attack. Our power level should be higher. So 16,499. Vegeta's ability will kick in. Should get us to 23,999, if I'm right. So you can see right there, super attack enabled, so that's where Trunks being in the support zone behind whatever unit gives him a super attack no matter what. So we should have more, because Cooler cuts it in half. I believe Cooler cuts it in half, I'm not 100%. <laughs> he does in other battles, but I think this one they have something that mitigates it. Either way, team built like this, it should work just fine. Boom. So we literally just gotta land one attack. Now you're gonna have those dimensional pressures, they're very, very annoying. It is what it is, not a whole lot you can do, so it's still kind of fast. You literally just gotta land the one. Thank god. I don't wanna do this again. Oh, burst mode. Do you wanna make sure you hit this? I don't know how essential it is, I don't think it's that essential. But you wanna get up to that 2000%. Awoken max. Oh man, the terminology in this game is uh, something else. You can see how much damage we did just from punching him. <laughs> So I think Goku will easily body. And I mean, it looks dope, so if you got Goku, you... <laughs> really, anybody over 10,000 power level can pretty much one-shot this. Pretty easily. Uh, the most important part, I would say, if you want the speed run aspect of it, is going to be uh, getting your power level above. Cooler is a pivotal player in that, and Super V abilities. Plus this Vegeta. That's just the way to do it. You got to get yourself up there in that power level. If you guys have any other things, any recommendations on what you would recommend to people, uh, let me know in the comment section. You know, post it. If it's super solid and I'm like, yo, that's bomb, I'll pin it. Definitely. So keep that in mind. If there's something you're like, yo, I do this instead, let me know by all means. Um, a couple other units you could probably use Mass Saiyan. I used to use him with her one shot team. Uh, if you have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta Xeno, you could use him because he does do triple super attacks. That's fully doable. Uh, it just comes down to power level. That's really it. And Vegeta's great because sometimes if you don't hit that power level, he has a chance to counter. It's phenomenal. And then he's just like, no, you don't attack me. Sorry, I attack you, dog. Yes, yes, I won. Fantastic. I did win. <laughs> did you guys see it? Boom. Hit yourself three rare gotchas every single time. EXP times three capsule, which is amazing. So basically, you just saw me get 300 there, 336 or whatever. Um, I'll get 900 EXP every time I run this on top of another three times. Every time you complete it. And 200,000 Zenny. It's phenomenal. It's absolutely game changer once you can get to this point. So I know the tournaments are a pain in the butt, but make sure you do them. It's 100% worth it to get in here and grind it up because this is going to be your secret to getting whatever card you want. If you can even find a way just to beat this, even once, that's enough to get you the equipment to beat it again. Then get you the equipment to get some gotchas and all everything. You're going to be able to do it. On top of that, when you get the Zenny, if you head on over to the shop, you can just start doing the accessory uh, gotcha as well. Because you got 200,000 Zenny, boy. You can just jump in. We're actually going to do it right now. Because why not, dog? Because I know you want that. You want some form of a summon, I understand. So accessory gotcha. 90,000 Zenny. <laughs> What's 90,000, dog? I got 700k. Boom. You can just do this. It's it's wild. So when we click through these, make energy drain. That's great. When attack from R2, doesn't matter. Cancel effects, alter known speed, yeah, speed, that's great. So you could actually put that on Goku. That may actually be better, something like that. When a supporter, 
Connect an ally via link line. Speed. Yeah, right there. Allies. So decrease their CI speed, recover their stamina. There's tons and tons and tons of them. After CI, permanent plus 1,000 power guard effect. Once you get this down, it's game changer. I promise you. So if you can try and build that team that I just had, um, I'll go through real quick and I'll show you the team so you can see which ones. If you're clicking out now, I appreciate you for watching. Thank you so much. But I'll go through real quick. We'll go through each of the units and I'll show you where they are found. Um, like what set. We go to your custom deck. We don't have to go to your custom deck. So go here. So take a look. He's in UM2, so UVM2. He is in UVM1. She's in Super SDBH2. Uh, UM2, so that's great. You go for him and Goku at the same time. Uh, Krillin is going to be in SDB, SBDH. SDBH. It's just a pain in the ass. Four. Uh, he's in seven. And then UM1 as well. So you can get one for Goku. And. Oh, Trunks is with Vegeta. Just kidding. So Trunks and Vegeta are in the same set. Goku and Cooler are in the same set. These two guys are really, really easy to pull. They're not going to be difficult at all. And then Gine, of course, being in two. I would recommend going for Gine first. Uh, if you have any, if you have Berserk Goku, you could do this with Berserk Goku. Piece of cake. If you got like the Hero Edition, and you got this little card in your thing, you could easily do this with Berserk Goku instead of Ultra Instinct. Anyways, I'm gonna get it. If you guys enjoy this style of content, make sure you like, subscribe, all that stuff. You know what to do. Enable those notifications so you see any time that I upload or when I go live. We do stream this game. I'd go for three days a week, but I would say right now we're sitting at about two uh, in the morning. So if you want to come through a couple of those streams, I'm still doing Dragon Ball Legends videos, everything like that. So if you're enjoying all this content, uh, I pre-ordered uh, Project Z, so whatever the hell that comes out, we'll be doing that. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here. You guys have a good day. Deuces. We know you.